Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Coordinate Systems. In this GeoTools video, I'm going to show you how you can match the coordinates of your drawing with those in Google Earth. Google Earth uses lat long as its coordinates, which means any data that you create in your drawing, if you want them to be visible directly in Google Earth, it must be in lat long. In this particular case, I have a data of a section of road in Bangalore, and you can see that this end to this end is about 152 meters so this is in meters and I want to now rubber sheet this or make it fit in Google Earth so I'm going to GeoTools menu under geographic tools the last option here is called Google Earth rubber sheeting tool so I click on that first you get a series of instructions which are useful for first timers for example within Google Earth some useful commands n will reset your view so that north is up you will reset the tilt so that you are in top down mode. These instructions are for Google Earth. Start Google Earth and zoom into the area of interest. So that is something I have already done here. And next ensure that the coordinates in Google Earth is set to lat long or decimal degrees. This can be checked from tools menu options show lat long. So I can check that now. I go to tools options and under show lat long I check the decimal degrees option this is important because if you have it set to universal transfers mercator or military grid it's not going to work so once that is done we come back here so press enter to continue so I do that so the next step relates to the CAD drawing zoom into the area of interest in the CAD drawing so this is my area of interest I want to match the coordinates of this building in Google Earth so I've zoomed into this area and pick first point in the CAD drawing. So you need to pick a point in the CAD drawing and pick the similar point in Google Earth and do the rubber sheeting. So let us choose this corner here. So I'm going to choose end of this point. So the next three instructions are for Google Earth. We need to capture coordinates of the first point in Google Earth. So bring the cursor to the same first point in Google Earth as precisely as possible and then press Ctrl Shift C to capture the coordinates. So we do that now. We go back to Google Earth. So I'm going to zoom into this area. This is the corner I want to capture now. So I keep my cursor here and press Ctrl Shift C. So once I do that, I come back to CAD and I just press Enter here. So now you can see that BrickScad has captured the coordinates from Google Earth. So you're getting 12.95 and 77.64 as the lat long of this point. Next step is to pick the second point in the CAD drawing. So let's do that. So I'm going to pick this corner here as my second point. And then once again repeat the procedure in Google Earth. So we go here, zoom out come to this corner here which corresponds to what I picked in CAD and press Ctrl Shift C then go back to CAD once again press enter so it's done it now you can see that the second point is 12.9598 and the first point is here so it gives you a short summary of what are the coordinates in Google Earth and in CAD next step is to select the entities for rubber sheeting so I'm going to just zoom out select all of this now the entities are selected and here's a warning for you that you need to take note of please be aware that after rubber sheeting the coordinates of the drawing will be changed to lat long to make it compatible with Google Earth and for export using the GT underscore DWG to KML command please save this drawing under a different name so that you do not lose your original data so this is just a warning for you just so that you're aware so we press enter and the conversion is done so it's a simple rubber sheeting by matching the two points so we can verify whether it's done its job so I'm going to measure from these two points you can see that now it's the geographic distance so it's 0 0.0014 and if I do an ID at this point you can see that I have the lat and long as its X and Y values now to do a quick check whether this is correct 
we can also use another tool here called DWG to KML Google Earth export so I'm just going to quickly export this data into KML file there are several options but we will choose the simplest option because we just want to do a quick check so it has exported that to a KML file here you can see domlur flyover.kml so if I now double click on this it's going to open the KML file and superimpose it on the building and the surrounding areas that I just now exported so you can see the building that we just used in our data it nearly matches the Google data it is not exact because the source of the vector data and the source of Google are different and also this is not from the most accurate source but if you have a locally surveyed data the building geometry is going to be more accurate and that is going to fit in better with the Google data so this is how we can do a rubber sheeting or matching of coordinates between your CAD and Google Earth. Now this command works identically in AutoCAD as well. It's available in the same place under the geographic menu this is Google Earth rubber sheeting tool. And if you want to run it on the command line it is called GT underscore GER sheet that is Google Earth rubber sheet. So you can run it exactly in the same way how we showed you in BricsCAD. Thank you for watching this video and do let me know if you have questions.